गाइस वेलकम टू अनदर वीडियो अनदर डे एंड अनदर टॉपिक अबाउट द वन प्लस फाइव टी बट वी हैव अ लॉट ऑफ सरप्राइजेज इन द कमिंग डेज इज वेल बिकॉज आई हैव एक्सेस टू अ फोन विच इज नॉट अवेलेबल इन इंडिया विथ कजन इज अवेलेबल इन इंडिया बट यू शाल सी दैट इन द नेक्स्ट वीडियो इट विल बी अ गुड कंपेरिजन नंद लेस टूडे इज वीडियो इज अबाउट द ओपन बीटा थ्री सो येस्टे वन प्लस मेड टू मेजर अनाउंसमेंट दे रिलीज the stable version of oxygen os 5.0.2 which comes with android 8.0 audio so we're going to review that soon and probably that video is already out i really don't know but that's okay uh let's talk about this video i was using the iphone x 256 for about a week's time one of the major highlights that i liked is the gestures and i started praying that you know somehow if someone could port these gestures to you know the OnePlus 5T without making any major changes it would be so awesome and guess what looks like god or OnePlus one of them was listening to me because yesterday the beta 3 update that i saw it comes with gestures which are just like the iPhone X not all of them but at least three gestures are there the one to go to the home screen the one to go back and the one for recents menu so what that does is that does basically leave you with a OnePlus 5T which doesn't have navigation button it already doesn't have software or hardware keys so you can use up all the 6.01 inches on this particular phone so that is what we're going to talk about today we're going to review the latest open beta 3 we're going to look at the gestures and i will show you how to install this update and how to enable the gesture so this will be a video which will cover almost everything about open beta 3 for the OnePlus 5T hello awesome people welcome to smartphone tutorials let's begin all right guys so let's begin now we will begin with the change log so let me just zoom into the change log change log for you guys so what's new under phone added pickup gesture switcher added sms categorized function which is exclusive to india remove phone recognized function in india now i don't know what that is and i haven't even tested that supported full screen gesture removed clipboard function so there was a controversy that OnePlus clipboard application is sending data to the chinese servers uh, especially the personal details of the beta users so that has been taken care of there was a misunderstanding about that it actually was something else but then again nonetheless uh, OnePlus did the right thing and took that application or app off now i really liked it while it was there but it's okay we have smart copy and paste as well in android oreo and we have general bug fixes applied security patch for the cpu which is supposedly the latest one now apart from that couple of things if you are already on beta you will be getting open beta 3 as an ota and you will continue to get further open betas as otas now if you want to go back to stable it requires a complete factory flash and the link for downloading and installing open beta is there in the description so you can go ahead and have a look at that now when i want to review a particular rom i look for major major changes so that's the same thing that we are going to do today um did i notice any huge huge difference in camera no so some some of the users were saying that the face unlock has been delayed and stuff like that which is not exactly the case with me i am using it since morning and it is very very smooth for me now let's talk battery life because that is a very big deciding factor for me and with each and every beta thing should improve um is that the case now no i'm still getting about say 16 to 20 hours of usage with uh around uh, 24 hours standby and around 6 hours of screen on time which is okay it definitely gets me through a day's usage and i'm pretty pretty happy with that did i notice any bugs when it comes to the battery usage android system draining about 4% is okay and red os 3% stuff like that so my screen on has been the major usage in whatsapp because i am very very much active on whatsapp instagram and stuff like that so leaving that aside a few things have changed up the launcher has been updated the gallery has been updated now these are more of bug fixes and they are not major major you know user interface changes and stuff like that so why are we talking about this particular review the reason we are talking about it it is a open beta thing and there is one major difference now you know theoretically or you know 
virtually this phone or this update covers or converts your OnePlus 5T into an iPhone X. Now I'll show you how. So you just need to go to settings. And then you need to go to buttons and you just need to tap this option hide navigation bar now the moment that happens what changes is basically your phone looks like iPhone X no <laughs> does it perform like iPhone X no but it still performs very very well but what happens is there you go so if you just swipe like this it'll open the app drawer and then if you say go to um, let's open for example Google all right so if I just swipe from the bottom center there you go it closes the app and again if I say go go ahead and open Google if I swipe from the left closes the app that's back basically same thing happens if you swipe from the right so swipe from the middle is to go to home screen left and right edges is to go back and if you swipe from the middle and hold you will have the multitasking menu so that's something which is really really nice and really really intuitive and what that basically gives us is the complete screen estate for example if i go to settings and if i go to buttons and if i disable this you see this now in any app for example if i go to um you still have this navigation bar versus if i go to settings and I hide it and then if I swipe and hold and then I go to Instagram you see the complete screen can be utilized and that's beautiful I really really like it I've been using it since a couple of days and I found it really really intuitive and uh, a lot of fun to work with because I was using the iPhone X as I said for a week's time and I, I liked that phone as well so overall talking about this particular update if you're looking for something that is a game changer yes these gestures are definitely a game changer if you're looking for a drastic change compared to beta 2 not exactly there's not much that has changed is it stable for daily usage yes it definitely is i did not encounter any problems is there any dramatic increase in or decrease in the camera quality no dramatic changes in battery life no so the whole point of this review is i'll be covering each and every beta but then again as long as there are no major major changes you know there's nothing much that i have to show you guys yes overall the stability is great it it boots up as fast as ever it charges up as fast as ever camera works great i did not find any major flaws and everything is basically there so that was a review guys that was a review for you for the open beta 3